what is going on guys welcome back to the channel it is week number nine of the weekly fragrance rotations there's a good amount of fragrances this week that haven't been shown on the channel yet so that's pretty exciting uh yeah let's get into it starting off on sunday i went with sean john unforgivable a little cheap hype beast right here this one is very fresh soapy clean has a little bit of a watermelon fruity sweetness to it off the top but just a little bit of that this is mainly very soapy and very clean smelling performance on here isn't the best i get about three to four hours but if you want an affordable fragrance that just makes you smell fresh and clean then this is a good option a good cheap fragrance to have in my opinion Sean John Unforgivable. On Monday, I went with Polo Black, one of my favorite fragrances in my collection right here. This is almost in every single weekly fragrance rotation, I feel like. Ah, this one has a mango note up top, which gives it that tropical, fresh fruitiness. And then as it dries down, there's a little bit of spice, but it's mainly greens and woods. If you guys just want a fresh, masculine scent that is also mass appealing and that ladies like, and this is a great option. Performance is all right. I get about five hours of performance. But I always say this. I love this fragrance so much and the way it smells that I don't even care that it performs five hours. I'm still going to wear it and I'm still going to enjoy it. This is a very solid fragrance in my opinion. I recommend everyone get their nose on this. What I wore on Monday, Polo Black. What I wore on Tuesday is Dirty English by Juicy Couture. This is my most recent rack store pickup right here, and I'm very happy about the purchase. This one's kind of unique. It's not your typical designer men's fragrance. This one does smell different than that. This one has some greens in the opening, and in the base there is oud and leather. So this one is very dark, woody, and smoky. This is a perfect fragrance for the fall and the winter time. Performance is all right. I get about five hours, but if you don't mind performance, this is a very solid scent. I would recommend checking this one out too. What I wore on Tuesday, Dirty English by Juicy Couture. What I wore on Wednesday is Amen by Mugler. Since we're on the topic of unique fragrances, this is one of the most unique fragrances in my entire collection. This doesn't smell like anything that I have. What I get in this fragrance is a big dose of honey, and then that combines with some caramel, but it's not like a sweet caramel. It's more of like a burnt caramel with some vanilla, and then in the base, there is some woods and patchouli. Like I said, this one kind of has like a burnt sugar smell to it, and then the woods in the base kind of give it like a cigar smoky feel. Very unique right here. This is not a fragrance that is very mass appealing. A lot of people will not like the way this one smells. I blind bought this one and when I first smell it, I was kind of iffy if I liked it or not. But the more time I spend with it, the more I do enjoy it. If you want to expand your collection and add a fragrance that smells like nothing you have, then go for this one. Perfect for the fall and the winter time. But be aware, not the most mass appealing thing. It's kind of challenging to wear, but in my opinion, it is still very good. What I wore on Wednesday, Amen by Mugler. On Thursday, I went with No Limits by Philip Pline. This is such an enjoyable fragrance right here. The key is to not go heavy on the sprays. Three sprays is more than enough with this scent because this is a beast mode performer, easily 10 plus hours. So if you overspray it, it does kind of ruin the experience. This one is very dark woody, has some leather in it with a decent amount of sweetness in the base. This is one of those scents if you do spray it heavy because of how dark and sweet the scent is, it kind of can become overwhelming and a little cloying. But two to three sprays is definitely that sweet spot. Perfect for the fall and the winter time. And this is actually pretty affordable as well. You can get this for around $40. At that price point, I think this is an absolute steal. Definitely one you guys should check out. No Limits by Philip Pline. What I wore on Friday is Bulgari Man in Black. So off the top, you get Spice Bomb. That is what this smells like. But they give it a boozy note, which really goes nice with the spiciness of this fragrance. Performance on this one is good. I get seven to eight hours of performance. One of my favorite fall and wintertime fragrances in my collection. I think this is a must try in my opinion. Again, what I wore on Friday, Bulgari Man in Black. And what I wore on Saturday is Gucci Guilty Elixir de Parfum. So I only have this little travel size atomizer. I did want to try this one out before I bought it. 
because it is pretty expensive. This is a very unique fragrance right here, a little warm, spicy, but it is heavily dominated by florals. But it doesn't do it in a way to where it makes it feminine. In the base, there is vanilla and patchouli as well. So this is a sweet, spicy floral scent for men. Definitely unique. If you kind of want to set yourself apart from the crowd and don't want to smell like all the people who wear Dior Sauvage or YSOY, this is a fantastic option. Very smooth, very elegant, fantastic fragrance in my opinion. Performance on here is very good as well. I get seven to eight hours of performance. What I wore on Saturday, Gucci Guilty Elixir Day Parfum. All right, that wraps up the weekly fragrance rotation number nine. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe. We're on the road to 100 subscribers. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.